Hey, it's Nick, live from my backyard once again. And uh, before I say this, I have to say, uh, do not try this at home. I am a trained professional. Um, and uh, I did that because uh, my last video on Fresno Lens got pulled from eBay. Well, not pulled, it wasn't allowed to be monetized. I thought that either it was because my motorcycle was out here and you could see it, or maybe something on my shirt, like this one just says USA, no trademarks. Nothing's trademarked around here, but, so I'm probably going to pull my other Fresno lens video, have this one be up there, but again, do not try this at home. Uh, definitely, if you are underage, you would need um, a adult with you, and they would need to uh, highly study the subject of this. That said, uh, anything that I'm doing here is actually basically as safe as cooking. Uh, and you need to uh, take into consideration the exact same things that you do when cooking, uh, which would include uh, being very careful around uh, hot objects, because, um, you know, they do, they do get very, very hot. Uh, this is just about as safe as um, cooking with electricity. Electricity is very dangerous in and of itself. Um, so, that said, what we're going to do is cook a couple eggs, in a pan here that I've oiled up. I actually tried to do this experiment earlier and um, kind of learned a little bit about how to do it and how to set everything up. Um, I won't be able to go into all those specifics with you, but I will be able to show you it. You just basically have to find the focal point quite well. Uh, right now I've uh, kind of preheated my, uh, my stove top there. Um, so that's basically the top of a uh, wood stove. Uh, that's sitting over there. Uh, oh, and if you ever do anything like this, uh, like I said, you need to do a lot of study and you also need to have some kind of eye protection. That's what I have right down there. A couple of pieces of something to look through. Right now I'm only looking through the camera to look at this. It is very bright uh, within an area where you concentrate a lot of sun. Uh, you could uh, possibly blind yourself if you're not careful. Um, so take that into consideration. I mean, it's not very, very possible, but if you already have very, very weak eyesight or something, uh, you could probably damage it further by doing these kinds of things without proper eye protection. Um, but, uh, so, I've kind of preheated that area, and then what I have over there is I got a pan that, uh, and, uh, an omelet pan that already has a little bit of grease in it, and over here I have a piece of glass. Um, I actually haven't tried to do the piece of glass yet, and I actually don't think I'm going to have to use it. Uh, basically, that's to help um, capture more of the heat inside uh, once I put on the eggs. So, um, my battery's running kind of low, so hopefully this keeps going when I unplug and walk over here. Yeah, it's uh, giving me a complaint. So, let's... Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll just crack a couple eggs in there. Let me get some salt and pepper. Maybe a little bit too much. I opened the wrong end of the pepper. Let's stir that up a little bit. I should have brought a fork. Okay, there we go. Now, I'll grab one to you guys. And like I said, don't try this at home. Very dangerous and all that. I'm going to grab my diffusion. Use it to look at the eggs. And uh, probably what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and stop and uh, I'll start recording again and I'll let you guys know how much time went by. To get this cooking. And actually I think I am going to go ahead and I'll keep you guys on 
while I place this piece of glass, which I just cleaned. Still has some stains and stuff on it, so it doesn't look perfect, but it is. Oh, I forgot about the handle there. Well, that might still help just a little bit. It's not, uh, I forgot about the handle on there, so it's not going to lay flat, but it might still help keep a little bit of that heat in there. But I'm going to go ahead and stop you guys and I'll bring you back and tell you how long. Oh, here we are back. I already ate a little bit of my eggs. I almost forgot about you guys. Um, I like to eat mine with hot sauce. I already put some on there. Yum. Mm. <laughs> mm. A little bit more of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it only took me. Nope, I gotta plug you guys back in. Okay. So, um, it only took me about 10 minutes. That's probably about twice as long as I'd uh, take with um, my stove, you know, my electric stove. Um, I think by improving the design by like maybe removing the handle uh, so that I can put a piece of glass over it or if I can just get a uh, you know, good glass tops for some of my stuff I'll be able to trap some of the heat in there and it'll cook probably as fast as a regular stove of course it does depend on the sun uh, but uh, that tree way back there I'm thinking about uh, felling that saw some wood I have a wood stove I'm gonna install but uh, uh, so one of the reasons why I'm doing this part of the video right now is, um, like I said, I had... Oh, that my frame for my thing's coming apart. I need to fix that. Um, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video, I had another Fresno Lens video, but uh, they wouldn't let me monetize it. And I think it might have been because I had my motorcycle sitting here, or he had something on a shirt that was trademarked. So I'm redoing it, and I'm going to pull that old one. So basically, what this whole thing is is um this is almost all one auction find and uh, that was a big screen tv that base you see there it has wheels on it underneath so you can actually wheel this guy around and then there's some uh some like skate wheels in there that's another auction find that was a different auction find uh then all this wood for this frame which i need to fix it right there that is from uh, that same big screen TV and was recovered from it. The Fresno lens was inside of it as well. Oh crap, now I got somebody mowing their yard. Um, but hopefully you can hear me. Um, I did add the L brackets that you see down on the bottom and the two stand pieces of wood. And I kind of cut out uh, for the wheels to sit in there so that this whole thing can rotate. And then we can focus our light in on our cooking area right there so that's how that works and uh, the wheels are set up like that so that I can uh, do this here let me set you down you probably won't be able to see this because well, you might be able to see it so it's set up like that so that I can remove the Fresno lens to make the whole thing a little bit easier to deal with. Um, oh, I'm glad that that piece of uh, stuff was right there. I don't want you guys to see any trademark stuff. Uh, let me put you guys down for just a second. cover up anything that might get me in trouble and not get me monetized um, so yeah the wheels are right on there and they spin freely and then of course they fit into the uh, little area that I cut out right there that way the whole thing can go and uh, one of the main reasons why I have it like that and so that it sets in there is so that I can put this somewhere else um, and make sure that it's not in the Sun and then also this thing will be easier to roll around. So I'm actually keeping the Fresno lines inside my house because um, I think that's probably the safest place for it. 
and then I wheel that and put it in my garage over there, or my shed. Because, um, uh, say, the, a big storm came through, and it would, you know, that shed would more easily get torn apart. And then if this was sitting inside of it, that might be bad if it was laying around. Because uh, these things are dangerous uh, if not well respected. Uh, so you got to treat these things with respect. Uh, giant Fresnel lenses, you know, concentrating that much of the sun can be dangerous. Um, so, yeah, that was all one auction find, um, except for the pieces of wood and the L brackets and the, the wheels. Uh, but uh, everything, except for the L brackets, uh, I've either gotten free or very, very cheap. I'd say I have about $10 worth of um, not only parts but time pushed, put into this. It didn't take me that much effort to piece these things together. Um, so yeah, I think the big screen TV was two bucks. The L brackets were a few dollars. Um, you know, and then uh, my, uh, my gas transporting that uh, the TV, because I actually took it apart on site and only took the things I wanted and threw everything else away in the trash, you know, including my gas of dragging that big screen TV back from an auction and then the time, you know, um, piecing the thing together and taking the screen apart and stuff, really, I think I only have 10 maybe $15 worth of time and uh, parts and actual money put into it. So, you know, you could do something like this really cheap. A lot of people on Craigslist just want to get rid of their big screen TVs. Um, and uh, if they're rear projection big screen TVs, they all have these lenses in them. And they're wonderful, wonderful finds. And uh, any time that I can grab one, I always grab it. Uh, right now I'm on a motorcycle, so I usually can't grab stuff like this, but um, I'll definitely try. <laughs> I've uh, put a lot of stuff on my motorcycle. But there's my giant Fresnel lens solar cooker that I just cooked up some eggs with. I'm going to have a little bit more of these eggs right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cooked with the good old sun. Free of charge. You know, that's, uh, if I cook a few meals in this, you know, I'll be saving tons of I had a little bit of a, um, a weird out with my memory card or something. But uh, that's about it for me. Um, I don't want to last too long on you. I'm already having to edit this together, which I usually try not to do. I try to do them in one big swath so I can just upload them straight from uh, my phone. I'm not going to say the name of it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and this is, of course, the backyard here. I was wanting to do four large gardens out here. Um, but I haven't been able to afford a tiller, so I'm probably going to smart start very small gardens by hand uh, for now and try to expand it. Uh, hopefully I can find a cheap tiller sometime soon. Or a rental that was really cheap. I think right now I have $18 to my name. <laughs> But all my bills are paid up, and I have food, and I have solar cookers, <laughs> so it's all good. So yeah, that's my little abode, and uh, you can see there's, I got lots of wood scraps here that were from an old garden that are back there, and some fencing, and I have a bunch of fencing and uh, um, tomato cages right here, ready to go. Um, that tree that's way back there that I'm thinking about felling, it has some rocks around it. And you can see next to that pile of wood right there in the center, there's kind of a pile of rocks. You can kind of see I've been slowly, they were around that tree for some reason. I've been bringing them over there. Probably use those for a project. And uh, behind the shed here um, is some mint that's growing kind of wild there. And right behind that is actually uh, where a garage used to be, and there's a concrete pad. Uh, eventually, I want to uh, make a chicken coop back there and have uh, only female chickens. I don't want to make the neighbors mad. Uh, you do not need a male chicken to have chickens that make eggs. And uh, female chickens make minimal noise, less than a dog or a cat. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully all this will be making some food. This is all veggie garden, or will be, I want it to be, in four different plots. One, two, three, four. And then back in that corner area there, 
I want to have fruit trees. And then right here in this area right here, I'll have an herb garden. This is going to be gone. Uh, that bush way back there is going to be gone. That, uh, uh, I don't know what that is back there. That's going to be gone. That tree is going to be gone. Uh, I think this tree is going to be gone. It's kind of close to the house. It could uh, mess up my foundation. And then around the whole property, I want to put uh, nut and berry bushes surrounding the entire property. So everything will be making food. And uh, any area like right here where you see these plants, I'm going to get rid of those. And uh, in the front yard, I'm still going to keep lawn because I don't want to make the neighbors mad. Um, but I am going to, uh, instead of uh, purely ornamental plants like most people do, like flowers, I'm going to have herbs instead. So yeah, that's my plan. I want uh, every inch of this place to make fruits or vegetables. Yum. So anyway, in that's... Uh, Enough of that. I think I said that in another video. I need to take those eggs out for the compost. You see that way back there? Right against there? In between the tree and that bush, that's my compost back there. I got all kinds of it. That's going to be some nice good stuff. Um, yeah, I need to bring those eggshells out there. But, so I hope you enjoy the large Fresnel lens uh, setup. It didn't take me much effort. I didn't really do a whole lot of planning whenever I made it. It really didn't require it. The design is very simple. I mean, it could have a couple of braces going this way that would make it more sturdy. You know, add a couple of triangles, because triangles are the basis of good, um, sturdy craftsmanship. Um, but at the moment, it works. Um, it's very easy to design. I did minimal, minimal, minimal uh, drawing on the wood and stuff like that. I just basically, you know... I slapped everything together and it works. So, there you go. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed it. Be careful with Fresnel lenses. They are very dangerous. If you're a minor, do not mess with it. You need adult supervision. If you are an adult, you should study on using uh, solar for uh, cooking before you just go out and do it, because it can be dangerous. But, as with any cooking, it can be dangerous if you cook with fire which I do sometimes. There's some uh, random wood that I'm going to use to cook at some time. Uh, you know, fire is dangerous. When you use an electric stove, that's dangerous. When you use a gas stove, that is dangerous. So is the sun. You need to give it the same respect that you would give any other way of cooking. So, thank you. Enjoy. Be safe. And in the words of my favorite YouTube musical artist, the ukulele.